Yo, what is up guys, it's me, Rage, and welcome back to another video, where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a vertical layout, just like I have right over here, it looks pretty cool, and you can get rid of those black bars that you have on vertical videos. So all you need to do is go on Adobe Photoshop Touch, really easy to get, just go and watch a couple of CNews videos, and you might be able to get some information on how to get this all you gotta do is once you're in the app you just gotta go and press on this plus button right there and make the resolution to 1280 by 720 right like right that right like that now what you need to do is go to your home screen and take a screenshot of your phone vertic vertically so i've already taken that so I'm just going to go and go to my screenshots, where is it, I think I skipped it actually, um, screenshots, there we go, and now we can just go and pick any one we want, I'm just going to go and choose this Pokemon Go one, so just go and make it, or put it in the default shape, and now all you got to do is go and select in your background. So I'm going to be going ahead and adding, let's see, um, let's see, um, a, let's go and add this nice cool back, black background. And then go and make it as big as you want to go and fit that. That's pretty nice. Now slide it down one slide so that the screenshot comes on top. Now go and make sure that. The, the backdrop looks pretty cool and all, you know, however you want. Now you need to do is add all of your customization stuff you want to put on. So, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and, I don't know, like, um, leave a like if you enjoy sign or something. So, let's go and put that there. And then I'm going to go and put a Pokemon Go logo. So, I should just have it in my downloads folder. Where is it? Here we go. Leave a like if you enjoy Pokemon Go right there. Add your own watermark so that no one will be able to steal your video. And if they do, then you'll be able to prove it to YouTube that it is your very own video. So you can just go and put the watermark tiny in the corner if you want one. And then what I like to do is I like to go and add a phone to that side so just go and do Adobe Photoshop touch and let's go add this phone right here it looks pretty cool it looks like um it's on my channel it reminds me of my subscriber it reminds the subscribers of how many subscribers I have and what videos to watch so yeah that's pretty cool so now once that I've done that go and go up to the layer and find your uh, screenshot then you just gotta go and press on that or click on it and then slide it down all the way to the end like all the way to the bottom now what you need to do is you need to go to the top is slide and you're going to press this two book symbol right over there once you've done that go and press this merge button right in the middle here and go and press merge down until all of these layers are merged into one background or they're just in the same place so gonna go and merge down merge down merge down merge down and merge down now we have two separate slides only this one contains all the per oops this one complains no i want to go in this one uh has all the props the background and that's it this one only has a screenshot now what you got to do is move the screenshot upwards and you're very almost done all you need to do is go and press this um select button with um the gear on the um right bottom corner and press the select pixels now it should outline your screenshot if it doesn't you've done this wrong go and watch the video again and see how it's done now you go and select your background, you have to do this by the way, and press on this pencil button right there, and press clear. Now it shouldn't change at all, you know, it doesn't matter, it will still have the selected. All you need to do is go and press right over here, you see, you see when I'm uh, on the screenshot right now, uh, on the top left corner, there is that 
circle with a white tiny circle inside of it. All you gotta do is press that and it will have a uh, explanation explanation mark there and then it will become transparent. Once you've done that you're pretty much done. And I uh, go and press this button up here, save to gallery, click on it and put it to PNG. Make sure you put it on PNG and then it's gonna go and save it.